here's my pink Charlie. The equine chiropractor came and adjusted him, and his right hip was out. And the reason I had him come is because he had this hunter's, hunter's bump up here, is what it's called. And it was even bigger. It was like swollen. It's gone down now that his hip's in place. But he gave me a couple of exercises to do, and I'm going to show you what I do to him. You guys, nice. Get their tail. And then I'm going to put my hand right here. I'm going to just pull, and you just gentle though. You just do it nice. Let him do his little foot there. And just like that, you can see, just a little tiny bit, it tips it. Like that. Good boy. We want the back up and round. You don't want to sway back. You kind of want to encourage it to come up. So then I'm going to come under here, under his belly, and I'm going to push with my fingers and try to get this part to come up a little. Okay, I'm going to do it and see if that goes up. So it takes time to build your hiney when your hip is out. I have super short calves, I've noticed. From here to here is really short. Okay, today I want to show you my nice new shelf. Remember, it used to be two stacked up dark red shelves. Well, I was just looking at my kitchen because I'm redoing my kitchen. And I'm thinking, I want one to go from wall to wall all the way across and not too high. I want it like this height. So then I'm like, oh, I want to paint it. I need something to break it up and brighten it up here in the kitchen. So I went with the turquoise, but what I did first is I took the shelves down, brought them outside, I had to cut a little off both of them. Then over the red paint, I painted this whitish color, antique whitey, and let that dry, and then I painted the turquoise over that. And then I took my sander, like my mm, vibrating sander, and then I just sanded it a bit. Well first, after I painted it all fresh and perfect, I brought it in here. And I was like, oh, that doesn't really go because my cabin's kind of rustic and they look too perfect. So then I figured, okay, I'll just like sand a little off and rough them up a little. I love it because when I walk in, it does actually brighten it up. Just changing the paint color a little bit. And it holds a lot of stuff. It's all easy to get to. It's the perfect height. I'm really happy with it. So after I hung the shelf up, I'm like, okay, there's a lot of bare space up there. So then everybody knows I'm a pepper freak. I love peppers. So I found these two strings of peppers and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hang those up above my shelf with my little painted plate there. That's like a little, little road country scene. And so it looks bright and cheery and I think it, all, it works really well. See my new rain? These are for Charlie because Charlie's colors are red and yellow because they look good on Charlie, and to me, red and yellow just looks like a party. Some girls like to buy new purses and shoes. <laughs> I like to buy new tack for my horses because it's just so much fun. And here's my tomato plants. They're actually doing pretty good. I got my tomatoes right there, and over here is one. I wanted to grow them in the container this year and just see how they did. And they're doing good. So there you go. You can grow tomatoes in the container. And look over here. I grew the peppers in a container. This little Neil finally killed his swimming pool. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just plant it. I was gonna throw it away out by the road. And then I'm like, wait, I'm gonna fill it up with dirt and see if I can grow something in it. And look, it worked perfect for the peppers. The peppers seem really happy in here. 